Larry B. L. again, and uh, in this segment, I will show how to test your ignition switch using a digital multimeter. Uh, your first step, you want to go ahead and draw out your pinouts on your ignition switch and mark the letters or numbers that are on the terminals. Then you want to look at your manual to determine which terminals are activated in the various positions of the switch. So in the off position, I have the G and M terminal showing as being activated. So I've connected the multimeter to the G terminal and the M terminal, we will take the other lead of the multimeter and touch to the M terminal. Okay. So with that, I've set the multimeter to the ohms function, which measures resistance. And as you can see, I have almost a dead short, which is closed uh, on the position. I will remove the lead, and you'll notice the multimeter went to the OL, which means open position. So with that, we know that the meter or the switch is good in the off position. The next position shows in the run position, I should have the L and B terminals. So we will take and move the clip over to the B terminal, and then I will touch the L terminal with the other lead. So what I've done is I've got the clip on the L terminal. Now the switch is in the off position, so I'm still in the OL so I'm going to turn the switch to the run position and now I have almost a dead short which means I've got good contact on that position. The last position shows in the start position I should have L and B okay, and also S. So first thing we'll do is we'll check the B position. So I am still connected to the B position. So I will then connect here. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. So now I will turn the switch to the start position. Okay, here is a common Okay, I am in the run position. Now I'm turning to the start position. Notice that I, I get connection, but as I continue to turn, the switch is intermittent. It's jumping back and forth. Okay, so that's probably why this switch is not in a tractor anywhere, because it's showing as I move it from the start position, that's open. It should not be open, and I keep turning it and it stays open. So it only connects when I barely start to turn and then it opens. So that is not the proper function of the switch. It should be showing a short at this point. So that is probably why this switch is not in a tractor somewhere. Okay, I will do this same uh, setup with an analog multimeter so you can see uh, how it functions. Okay, for the analog multimeter, we are testing an ignition switch. Again, we have drawn out the uh, terminals on the ignition switch, and we've got our handy-dandy diagram showing uh, the terminal connections in the various positions of the switch. So I am connected to the G and M position on the switch, so when I turn the switch off, I should uh, create a short across the G and M position. Uh, this would normally be connected to your ignition uh, coil off position, so it grounds it when you turn the switch off. When I turn the switch into the run position, uh, you see I have a, uh, the, the meter swings to the left, so that means there is no connection. The next position is the L and B position, which means that is the uh, run position. So I will move the connector to the L position and to the B position. 
As you can see, I will turn the switch off. Okay, so that is the off position. So now we go to the run position, and as you can see, I have good connection there. The start position shows the L and B connection still, um, and also the S position. So we are still connected to the L and B. I will go to the start position. Uh, so as I turn the key to the start position, I should continue to have contact, which I do not. Okay, there's the start position. So that may be one reason why this key is not in a tractor. We will go ahead and try it in the S position just to see if we have problems there. So we continue to stay connected to the B, which is the battery. I will move the terminal to the S terminal. This is the start terminal. I have absolutely nothing. I'm turning the key. So that is probably why this switch is not in a tractor, because there is no connection in the start position, meaning that the key would not start the tractor. Um, again, on this multimeter, I've selected the own position, the one times. Whenever you're measuring uh, continuity on this particular type of meter, uh, you want to select the one times. If you're going to measure components like coils, depending on the resistance, you may have to select a higher. On a digital multimeter, you would not have to worry about that because it is auto ranging. And this is how to check an ignition switch using a multimeter. Thank you. Okay, Larry Bell again, and this will finish it up for your ignition switch. So we uh, we determined we had a bad ignition switch, so why not? Let's see how one of these things work. So here are all the connectors, and as you can see, they use copper uh, rivets to make the connection on the inside of the switch. There's a plastic uh, piece that has some springs and a ball bearing that would make the indent as you turn the switch. <clears throat> and then there's a copper contactor that fits on the bottom of the plastic piece that turns with the key. And it rides to make the different connections on these copper uh, rivets. So as this turns it makes the different connections. Uh, pretty simple uh, setup. I uh, was looking at the switch to see why we did not have any contact in the in the uh, start position and we have one terminal that realistically probably a good cleaning would have fixed it but uh, oh well. I uh, thought we'd go ahead and take this one apart. I've got several, uh, but this one would be a good demonstration on uh, just to see what is inside the switch. So basically as this piece is turned, it makes the different connections between the different terminals in the switch. So uh, so that's pretty much it. Pretty, uh, pretty simple little device. Uh, it does look like uh, it could uh, cause a problem once it gets dirty, uh, particularly like that terminal there is probably our our problem terminal. Let's just take a look. That is the B terminal. So uh, uh, the S terminal actually looks fairly clean, but there's some uh, looks like some gouging right there. So it may have had some problems. Anyhow, this is uh, what the inside of a, uh, a tractor ignition switch looks like. And that's half the fun, taking something apart just to see how it works. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.